Greetings everyone. In this video tutorial, we will quickly learn how to identify fonts from a website, get free fonts, download them and install them on your Windows 10 computer. We will also uninstall the fonts from your PC. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. To get started, let's try to find the font of our website. Here let's learn something.com. Open the browser and go to here let's learn something.com. So we will find out the font this website is using. In order to do that, the easiest method is using a Chrome extension. Simply search for what font Chrome extension. So this is the extension. Simply click on it and add to Chrome. Add extension. So the extension has been added. Now simply click here. So here is it and I would like to pin it. Now it will always be visible. Close the browser and then open Chrome again. Go to our website. Now simply click on it and as we move the mouse it will display the font name. Very simple as that. Please note it will not work on the images. For instance this logo. Or even here it will not work but it will only work for the text if you click on it you can get more details about colors also tells about font weight exact font name and many more after getting the info click on exit what font or else your browser might be clustered so this is one way of finding the font the website is using some sites however might be using custom created fonts which will be identified but may not be available to download. In some situations, what happens is you may not be able to use this extension or it may not work properly. In that case, you can try by highlighting the text you want to find the font name for. Right click on it and click on inspect. So once you do this, you will see something like this. Each site or even pages will be different. So what you can do is simply click here and type font dash family and enter. In most cases, the top two fonts are the font size it's using. But again, please note in most cases and not always. The top two fonts are the font of the site. So this is just another way around. You can make the selection of the font and try it out. If what font does not work, then this may be a method you can try. Anyway, now that we have figured out the font, for the website which is railway let's try to download it for that simply search google funds this is the one click on it so google offer lots of funds these are free and you can use these funds on websites or any creative designs like in logo or banners or posters and many more in most cases the funds here are free for commercial use but please do check the license information on the files you download so let's search for a railway fund please again note not all funds can be found here if anyone is using another paid fund or custom funds you may not find it here in our case railway is a google fund so here is the fund simply click on it so you can see the variations the fund offers after that, click on Download Family, so the font has been downloaded. So in folder, let me close this all. So here is the font, I will just put it on the desktop. Simply extract the font, I will create a folder Railway Font. Double click the zip file, select all and drag it inside the folder. Close this. Now the folder has all the funds. Each font might have a different file inside. It may not necessarily look like this. This one has two funds here, italic and variable font. It really depends on how the font is packed. You can also read the text in readme. Railway has static funds, which has lots of funds, and these two as well. Now to install the font, there are a couple of ways. If there are only one or two variations of the font, all you have to do is double click on it and install the font this way the font will be installed open the file and install 
and it will be done. But again, if you have many fonts, like here, clicking on each font and installing will be time consuming. So to install many fonts on Windows 10, the fastest way is to simply go to the control panel and go to appearance and personalization. Go to fonts. So once you are here, what you can do is simply select all these fonts and then drag it over here. So this will automatically install all the fonts at once. If the font is already installed, you'll get this message. Simply click yes. So all the fonts have been installed successfully. To recheck, simply type the font name here so we can see railway font over here. So these are actually all the fonts that are available on your computer. Anyway, let me close this. So now we can use this font on any applications to design or type, like in Photoshop, Word document and many others. Like if you want to use in Word, simply open Word and search for the font name, Railway and design or type accordingly. So you can check all the variations. So if you look around, you will find all of the variations we installed and you can use them accordingly whichever you like. Now if you want to uninstall a font, it's very simple to do it. Go to your cPanel, go to appearance and personalization, go to fonts and search for the font you want to uninstall. Since it's railway, Select the font and click on delete and yes. It will take some time to delete the font from your computer. So please wait patiently while it's deleting the font. It seems now the font has been deleted so it's gone. Search at the top, we see no matches. Now if I open the document, you will see the font. But this will be gone as soon as I close it. Let me close this and then again open the Word document. Now if I look for railway fund, it's not there as we deleted it. So we have removed the fund. So this is how you can get free funds, install them on your computer and use it on your designs. Hope this lesson was helpful to you. Thank you very much.